Hello, Funke Oyende here. I want to show you today how to make a beautiful Ankara bag. Here are the materials we are going to use for the bag. Here is a fabric, the Ankara fabric we are going to use for the bag. Here is another lining fabric down here. Here are the ready-made handles we are going to use. We have some tiny screws here that we will use to screw the ready-made handles to the bag. You can see the holes for the screw here and we'll, use, we'll be using our screwdriver for that. Here is the utility knife we'll be using to attach this uh, magnet, magnetic snap to the bag, our brush, and uh, the glue we are going to use here. This small container is to empty the glue inside in small quantities as I walk. Our scissors here. Then I have my Mako here. This is a Mako. And um, here is my um, cheap board the light cardboard we'll be using together with the lining fabric and here I have another material here interfacing they call it wadding we're going to iron this to the back side of the Ankara fabric to give it strength before we use it for the bag now we're going to go to cutting the bag now we have come to the section of cutting of the bag into the sizes the various parts of the bag now i've been this marker is for the bag the front and back pieces and i use the measurement of 16 inches wide and 13 inches long so that's what i'm using for the body of the bag the front and the back piece and then this is the bottom piece of the bag now the bag I'm going to shape the top of the bag. I, I just curve it a little to give it um, a kind of shape that is not so that it's not it's not looking four corner at the. So this is what I did. You can see that at the top. So to achieve that, you just fold your front and your marker. Just fold it in two like this, and then use your pen. Just draw. You know a kind of arc like this and then you cut it out and you will get this shape here you can see that was what I did here to get this so that's how I shaped and then you transfer that shape to all the uh, materials the marco the fabric itself and then the chipboard that you'll be using for together with your lining fabric you can see that I've also shaped the top of my chipboard, both the front and back pieces. So the next stage now will be for me to begin to um, assemble. I'm going to attach the fabric and the marker together, and then the lining fabric and the chipboard together. Now I have my glue here. I'm going to apply the glue on the surface of my marker and then after that I will attach it to the fabric. Now I have um, applied my glue to the marker. I'm now going to place it on top of my fabric. The fabric is bigger than the marker a little bit so that I have some extra material around the marker. So now I'm going to shape it a little bit so I'm going to shape the fabric also to have the same shape with the marker but I still have my extra um, allowance around. So now I'm going to apply glue to this top, to this edge of the marker, and fold my fabric in. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm repeating it for the for the second side also. I apply my glue to the edge. I fold 
the fabric in around th that uh, top shaped edge. Okay, so we have done it to our two different ears. So the front and back pieces now. We are now going to do the same for our lining. The lining that is the chipboard and the fabric lining together. Now, um, I want to quickly sew. Now, I, I want to sew the inner pockets to one side of the lining for the bag so that you have space to put in maybe your money, your phone, whatever inside. So I just cut this fabric for the pockets. So I'm applying glue to the top edge of the chipboard so I can glue it together with the fabric lining. glue to be able to hold the marker I need to apply glue here too front and back pieces with the uh, Ankara and then the front and back pieces with the fabric lining and you can see that there is an inner pocket on this. So I will now have to couple the lining and the Ankara together. So I'm going to be applying my glue and then I'll bring them together. Glue to 
the pieces carrying the apara so i want to apply glue to the pieces with the lining fabric also before i bring them together now i'm going to bring the lining and the ankara together now but you have to be careful so that the lining does not poke out it shouldn't show at all it shouldn't go beyond the ankara at the edges now i have glued the pieces together so it has come down to two the front and the back now i'm going to sew this top edges those this is a shaped top edges i'm going to sew them on the machine so i'm going to do the same for the other side fixing our handle to the body of the bag. Now to do that, I'm going to turn it to the wrong side. Then I will try, I will center this one because there is a maximum point here. That there is a hole or a kind of ridge at the, around the bottom edge of the handle to guide you. So now this is the top, this is the um, limit here so now i'm going to like center this handle on top of the bag in the middle of the bag you make sure you center it very well you allow it to reach the limit at the top on the two sides then you will now draw you will draw around to guide you when you're cutting off that aspect because you are going to cut off that aspect to make room for you to insert your handle now you are not going to cut exactly on that line you have marked you are going to leave some like about half inch that's where you are going to cut this allowance will be the one that will go inside and you'll be able to screw it down if you cut it exactly at this line it will, it will end up being too big, too wide for this and then the handle will be falling off. So you need to give in your allowance and that's where you're going to cut. So I have marked, so I'm going to cut that inner portion out. So I'll do the same for the other side. Now, it's time to fix the handle. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So you have to fix it correctly. You slot it in into that ridge and push it in all the way through. Now I've pushed in the handle very well. Now these are the screws. You begin to screw them in to tighten um, the handle to your bag. It's like I have a pointed knife here and it's doing the job better than the screwdriver for me. So then I go to the next one. And now um, I've been able to screw all the screws on all the nine points here and nine points here. So we have 18 all together. So the front and back pieces are ready. Now we want to couple, I mean, assemble the bottom pieces. Now the bottom piece is also here. This marker is attached with the fabric and then the chipboard is attached with the lining and i've already smeared my glue on both of them so and I'm, I'm going to bring them together also and 
then later we'll be attaching it to the body of the bag. The perimeter of the bottom piece is a, is going to be is, is a summation of what we have on the front and the back added together. So the next stage will now be <coughs> we're going to sew the two sides of the front and back pieces. Okay, I've now I've been able to stitch both sides of the bag and I've trimmed off the excess. Now to make the inside of the bag neat, I want to use this taping to cover these two edges. So I'm going to sew it on like this, down on both sides to make the inside neat. Um, bottom piece, I want to sew around before I attach it to the body of the bag. I have sewn around the bottom piece so it's ready to be attached to the body. But before I do the attachment, you see now the front and back pieces are ready together. So the space for the bottom piece is already created. This opening here and what we have around the bottom piece, they must match for them to stay together. So now I have about 35 inches around here and here I have just 36. 36 around so this one is a little bit bigger than this because of these corners the four corners just to have some little bit allowance because the four corners are not going to be sewn in we're going to like curve a little bit so those corners are going to be out of the way so we need to make a little bit of allowance now i'm going to pin this from the middle here of one side I will align it with the joining here at the side and then I will pin everything around and then I will be stitching them in place. Let me get So I'm already attaching the bottom to the body. So I finished sewing, so I'm taping it around to make the inside neat also. So I'm using that same taping I used for the two edges to tape around the bottom piece inside. So um, at this stage, I've sewn the bottom piece to the body, so I now want to turn it right side out. Here we are. I've turned it right side out and our bag is completed. You can see it. I hope you really enjoy watching this and you just be able to produce your own. Thank you very much. Funke Oyende signing off for First SUB Academy. Thank you. Bye-bye.